Dizziness has to be one of the most common and probably scariest anxiety symptoms out there. During my anxiety days, I've dealt with dizzy sensations on an almost daily basis. And it wasn't just the same feeling that happened over and over again, but I felt the sensations in many, many different ways. And I know that many of you do too. Most days I kind of just felt a little bit wonky, somewhat like I was walking on cushions or on a boat. I couldn't manage to walk in a straight line. And of course I ended up being hyper aware of every single step I took, which obviously made everything so much worse. Once I was on the stage, really focusing in and observing the way I walk, my legs became wobbly and I felt that everything around me was kind of rocking me back and forth. And hey, of course that wouldn't be the end of it all. As some of you know, I had an extreme fear of having a stroke and was always worried that those panic attacks I had before weren't really panic attacks, but actually tiny strokes that just no doctor or test properly diagnosed. So yeah, with that fear in the back of my mind, that slight dizziness slowly but steadily created more and more worries. At first, I would just try to remind myself that it was just anxiety and that I've been through this so many times. But the question, what if this time is the real thing, this time it's the symptom of a stroke, kept nagging and kept screaming louder and louder in my head until I completely freaked out. Suddenly, I was in a full-blown panic attack. My head felt like there was a huge cloud shoved right into it. I became very lightheaded and often my surroundings seemed to be spinning and I couldn't focus on anything anymore. The sounds and lights seemed to be intensified a thousand times. The dizziness and of course the plenty of other typical anxiety symptoms now had me absolutely convinced that something was wrong with me. And all this just couldn't be anxiety, right? But eventually, as you all probably know so well, the dizziness and other sensations slowly but sadly subsided and my rational brain did win back some of its confidence back and I could imagine that this was just another panic attack. I was not fully convinced, but I barely accepted it as a possibility. And this right there is probably one of the most common and obvious reasons why so many of us dealing with anxiety are plagued by dizziness and all the other symptoms. The uncertainty in our heads is nothing other than worry, and worry creates tension in the mind and the body. Muscle tension, especially in the back, shoulder, neck area, can create dizziness. And no matter how subtle the sensation might be, we have trained our anxious mind over and over again to detect even the slightest change and react immediately to it with our emergency response, the fight or flight response, which simply goes hand in hand with many psychological and physiological changes that are so out of context for the situation we're in that these changes let everything escalate completely out of control. One of these bodily changes can be high blood pressure, which can make you feel lightheaded. Also, you become sensitive to your surroundings, especially to light. In fight or flight mode, your pupils open up, so you can quickly soak in as much information as possible from your surroundings and react to these. But as this response is so out of context for the current situation we are in, we feel completely overwhelmed and can leave us feeling off balance and without any visual focus. Add to this the hyperventilation that so many of us unconsciously do, and you have the perfect recipe for a full-blown panic attack. So guys, I can only tell you that anxiety can create the most horrifying sensations, and dizziness is just one of them. Believe me, I had some very, very awful days dealing with this. But now that I have recovered, I do not deal with these symptoms at all anymore. I know it is easier said than done, but once you feel lightheaded or dizzy, Try taking a mental step back, concentrate on your breathing and make sure you are taking deep and slow breaths, even if it feels uncomfortable or unnatural at the moment. Scan your body for any built up tension and consciously release it. You will notice that getting your body in a more relaxed state will have a direct impact on your mental well-being as well. Keep this in mind when you are setting up your anxiety recovery plan, which by the way I believe everybody should have. Getting your body comfortable and relaxed is your number one goal. It is the basis for everything else, because without the bodily tension, you face a lot less symptoms and have the mental clarity and strength to deal with your anxiety issues. If you're interested to learn more about my approach to recovery, I will link a playlist right up here. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you're new here and want to see more anxiety related content just like this one, consider subscribing.